So, hello, Facebook and YouTube. So, I'm sitting here with my mother-in-law, who is 68 years old, and I'm talking to her about her decision to vote for President Trump, and I told her, I said, you have got a walkaway story out of this world, and I just wanted to get it on camera. So, I'm going to pass the camera over to her now, and I just want her to tell her experience in 2016 and where she is now this year 2020 here you go mom hello everybody god bless um the thing is when i got ready to vote i did not want to vote for hillary clinton and i i stalled around until the the last 30 minutes because the place where I vote was only a couple of few blocks away and so I got in my wheelchair because I use an electric wheelchair because I can't walk, walk and I rode the three blocks to the voting poll to vote and I cried the whole way there I mean literal tears running down my eyes and I kept stopping and looking at my phone at the time to make sure I got, because it's so ingrained in me to vote because we weren't always allowed to safely vote. And when I got old of age to vote, I've never not voted. But I didn't want to vote for Hillary and I was scared to vote for Trump because I'd always been told the Republicans, they're racist, they hate us, they want to do this to us, they want to do that. So I cried all the way to the voting booth and voted for Hillary Clinton. And I will never forget that in my life. It will always be ingrained in my brain because what I know now, like how closed off I was to, to think about voting for being in another party because I was always a Democrat. My family was always a Democrat, except my grandmother wasn't. My grandmother was a Republican, but I don't know anything about that because I was a little bitty thing when I came to California with my mom. So I'm just, I'm telling my story because I think about it a lot. Like how I cried all the way there and my mind was so closed to voting for someone else other than a Democrat that I voted for somebody I totally did not support just because I was a Democrat. So why, so why are you voting for Donald Trump this year, Mom? Because I stopped. My son got me to looking because he said, Mom, check the facts. Because I was just like, everything I heard, oh, he's this, he's that. And so I started noticing things like when I'm watching the news, how whenever he talked, they cut him off, whatever they were saying stuff about him that I knew wasn't true. And I wasn't even a supporter of Trump. But the, some of the things they say are so totally not true. And I actually know the real stories. Okay? Because it's back in my day. And they have clips. They have actual news, original clips that you can look up. And I think about how close I was to doing that. And... I saw all the things they were saying and doing that weren't true, so I started checking the facts. And if you check the real facts, not just what somebody said or what this media or that media is putting on there, if you check the actual historical facts of what these men did in their lives, you'll see the difference.